what's a trans girl gotta do to get a new femme wardrobe? Fifty dollars? Its material is equivalent to one slice of toilet paper. I'll buy it. Oh my god, this plushie looks like it needs a mom. It's a hundred and twenty dollars. Ezekiel, you are talking about my child. There is no price tag on such a precious bean. Oh my god, that shirt is gorgeous. Oh, you cost how much? Oh my god, okay. Okay. What is your gender? My gender. Mm. I'm a mechanic. Green eyes like Mountain Dew And where she go, I'll never know Her friends bounce to I guess it's their loss But they'll never know what will amount to Trans girls have a secret, okay? Come here. I'm gonna tell you what it is. If we ever punch you in the arm, that means we either like you or we've just claimed you. You are now in a relationship. You respond with either a head pat or a kiss. Don't mind me ladies, I just want to use the bathroom like a normal human being for a second. Now, you might be asking, what the hell is a guy doing in the women's restroom? Well, I'll tell you, I'd be breaking the law if I went anywhere else, and I can't just waltz right into the men's bathroom right next door because there's an officer waiting outside checking IDs, just like outside of every single public restroom in the state of Florida. So it looks like I'm out of luck. Are you uncomfortable? Cause I am. I promise you I'm trans and not just a creep. But why would I look at you anyway? It's nothing I haven't seen before. Amy, there is, <laughs> we may have a gap. <laughs> there was no gap, I just looked like that. Rihanna. I saw that, you disgusting pervert. That's absolutely unacceptable. Your trans girlfriend wants attention. Gaming. Okay then, Yuko, give it back. Yuko? Damn it, Yuko, fine, after this match. Four. Three, two. My pronouns are U-S-A. My pronouns are U-S-A. How about it, huh? My name is Ted Cruz, and my pronouns are kiss my ass. My pronouns are kiss my ass. Afternoon. What can I do for you? I need to buy a gun. Trans woman priorities. Can I buy the shark? Did you even look at that price tag? Please. No. Please. No. His name's Frank. His name is not Frank. I'm buying the shark. Fine. She likes Babu. I like purple. So I blew her back out when I left her all red. Get it? Cause blue and red equals purple. So I blew her back out when I left her all red. Trayvon, just go to the office. What I do? Just go to the office. What I do? Go, just go. What I? Been talking about. The way things change And my family lives in a different state What trans women actually do in the women's bathroom? First we do a tinkle cause women don't poop Then we wash our hands to keep people safe Then we obviously touch up the lips And practice comebacks Then we leave Dating a trans woman isn't always ooh woo or ada ada. Darling, I think I got this heel cleaned up. Oh, never mind. Sometimes. Actually, just hold that thought real quick. Hold, real quick. I've got to stop eating so much. No, I've got to stop eating. Period. I love reporting on good trans news, and that is certainly what we have after this weekend. You see, just yesterday, Louisiana voted against a gender-affirming care ban, making it one of only four states that voted against such a ban with a Republican trifecta or a Republican supermajority. Republican Senator Mills voted against the bill. He stated that he did so because of a report that came out of Louisiana.
the regret rate was as low as 1%, that nobody was having trans surgeries under 18, and that of all of the people who got it, it significantly improved their depression and suicidality. Now, Senator Mills came under heavy fire by Matt Walsh and the like, and in response, all he said was, do they live in 337? Then I don't really represent them. It's been very rare this year to find Republicans who were willing to look at the evidence, but Thank you, Senator Mills, and also thank you to Louisiana trans advocates and all of the amazing trans people in Louisiana that fought to make sure that this bill didn't pass. I don't feel safe. Mm-hmm. Clap if you feel, feel safe. Who's the man? Not you! You were right. I needed that. I needed that too. You're pushing your luck, Scoob. The duality of trans Bro, women. Oh, choke on me. <laughs> You're so bad at the game, just get good. I go by she, her, and yes, I am the girlfriend of the relationship. Got a white boy on my roster, he be feeding me pasta and lobster. He just hit me up on Tuesday like, what you doing, babe? Let me take you shopping. I told him, well, I'm a little busy. He said, damn, I'm in your city. But anyway, it's okay, hope you have a good day, I'ma see you by day 50. Then I told him, you treat me so well. He said, cash out, Pazelle. Matter of fact, scratch that, I'ma see you with statues, cause you fine as hell. And I told him, well, thank you, baby. Anything for my favorite lady. Well, I gotta go, they just let me know that I could pick up my Mercedes. I got hoes, might just be your nigga in different area codes. It's this little thing. You don't even take the whole thing, you take like half of it. It's like, it's so crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I won't see changes for like months, but uh, I'm doing it. I want my life back. I don't want to spend my life worrying and theorizing about this or that. I want to, I want to, I'm doing it now. Four years on T. I'm four years on T. I am exactly where I need to be. Afternoon, what can I do for you? I need to buy a gun. I third a face, I third a face. How many people have had this done? Depends on what. I don't think we have exact numbers, but it's if we're talking about the drugs, it's I mean millions. Um, you talking I, about hum- hormone blockers? Yeah, but millions of kids have been on hormone blockers. Really? Uh, I, I'm sure someone's going to fact check me on it, but my 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 guess is that we're in we're into the millions now at this point. Yeah, that would be my guess. Um, uh. I, I can say for double mastectomies, the most re- I read a report recently that um, there were over a thousand done between 2016 and 2019. And when you compare that to how many were done between, you know, 2008 and 2015, it's just a, it's a massive increase. And uh, a th- over a thousand girls had double mast- gender, gender affirming double mastectomies in that in that time frame. And when you but say that's, girls, that's, you're talking about prepubescent, right? Minors. Uh, and that's just up until 2019. And then we know that uh, there's been this exponential increase with all this stuff year over year. So uh, that that this shouldn't, this shouldn't be happening to... It's a very small number, if that's right. It I'll says kind of... over the last five years, there were at least 4,780 adolescents who started puberty blockers and had a prior gender dysphoria diagnosis. It says it's kind of undercounted, but that's... That would be a big undercounting. Less than 1,000 people a year. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I would guess you know hundreds of thousands at this, but I could be wrong. Million sounds great. <laughs> yeah, I could be wrong. Yeah. Yo, I wake up in the morning, I turn my swag on. Yo. Yo, you want to play a game? What game are we playing? It's called homosexuality. Okay, I'm in. Awkward encounters two hundred. Kid that pulls his pants all the way down to pee. Is it gay? Autism usually. I know, but is autism gay? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, all yeah. right. A hundred straight men voted, and they said, Congratulations, it is gay. I win. Yeah, I mean, there's a few more questions on the board. There's a lot of dude so Awkward encounters with thousands. Seeing your mom's boob and not being turned on, is it gay? No. No? Final no, answer, no. All right, a hundred straight men voted, and they said, You are. So sorry, contestant, it is in fact That's... gay. That's... <laughs> that... It's boob. I would be so con... 
That's concerning. A hundred straight men answered. That's that's me. Uh, I did. We home Alabama. Oh, I didn't say where I got these straight men. All right, all right. That's true. That is true. All okay, right. Fair point. Personal actions. Eight hundred. Beating at your friend's house while they're asleep. Is it gay? Are you next to them? I mean, you're in like another room, but like you just talked to him at least like an hour ago. Like, why do you need to do that? I don't know. That's not really that gay. I mean, some people just fucked up. I mean, but I guess it's. I guess everything on this board at this point is gay. Not everything <laughs> on this board is gay. I don't think that's gay. I don't think that's gay. A hundred straight men voted, and they said, "Oh my God, why do so many people do that?" Anti-trans laws affect cisgender people as well, and that was made very clear at Harrison Central High School this last weekend. You see, news went around the world about how a principal at Harrison Central High School made a transgender girl wear pants and shoes instead of the dress that is part of the dress code for graduation. She fought this in court, and a Trump-appointed judge cited against her, stating that she had to wear that clothing, so she missed her graduation. But there was something that was not reported on. The next day, just before walking onto the stage for her graduation, a cisgender girl by the name of Jai was booted from the graduation lineup because she was wearing pants and boots. Anti-trans laws are designed to enforce a gender hierarchy where women are expected to wear very particular clothing and men are expected to wear other clothing and where those lines cannot be crossed or transgressed. This is all in service of a patriarchy that seeks to subjugate feminine presenting people. So remember, whenever we talk about transgender rights, while these are affecting transgender people the most, this is all a massive fight for our rights collectively in our bodily autonomy and our ability to present ourselves as who we are. Anyway, this case sets horrible precedent and I really hope that this doesn't continue to be the case because if so, we're in for a long year. These kinds of cases can be used to justify things like drag bans and bans on pride parades. Anyway, this is wrongly decided. Shame on you, Principal Kelly, for deciding this. And Harrison Central High School students, I stand in solidarity for you. We will beat this back. But if you put 100 trans women on an island with 10 men in 100 years, you'll find nothing but 110 men skeletons. Right, because they will have all died. What was the point of this? because like trans women can't have babies. Okay, um, they can't carry babies, but yeah. Real women can. Some cis women can, yeah. That is uh, an astute observation. Right, and if you had 100 real women and 10 men on an island, in 100 years there would be a flourishing society. But if you put 100 trans women and 10 men on an island, they would all die after 100 years had passed. That's another astute observation. At the end of their lifetime, they will have died. You did it. Congrats. No, you're missing the must be because it seems to me like you just want to abandon 110 people on an island. I don't think you really care who it is at this point. Well, no, I'm just saying like if all women in the world were trans women, uh, humanity would be gone. Yes, that's why all women in the world aren't trans women. I'm just, I, not getting it. Trans women can't have babies. Yep, trans women can't carry babies. Got my ass. I feel like you're really hung up on the baby making why are you so hung up on making sure that women can make babies why is that the only thing a woman is good for to you well, women need to be able to make babies to like carry on the species not all women can make babies should we just call them men too i'm just i don't know i'm just a little confused no you're not getting it trans women are men i would be inclined to disagree simply because they're not but I don't care. I'm leaving. I'm done with this conversation. I'm bored. Bye. Mexico has introduced the country's first non-binary passport, allowing its citizens the ability to legally identify as their authentic selves. Foreign Minister Marcelo Ebrared announced that Mexico had issued its initial passport with a non-binary gender marker, hailing it as a significant stride for freedom of expression. On the International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia, and Transphobia, activist Oshel Baina received their passport during a ceremony attended by government officials, including transgender federal lawmaker Salma Luevano. This move underscores the Mexican government 
government's support for sexual diversity and the guarantee of rights for all identities. Under the new policy, non-binary and gender non-conforming Mexican citizens have the option to replace the gender category with an X rather than being limited to male or female. Applicants can also choose to omit specifying their gender when applying for new passports. Mexico is one of 16 countries, along with others such as Spain, that recognize the X marker on official documents. However, some countries, including France, Italy, and the UK, still do not permit the use of X markers on passports. The UK government in particular has faced criticism for its stance on non-binary passports, as it has declined to update its policy despite public petitions, citing complex practical consequences as the reason for not introducing a third or non-binary gender. But trans women have such bigger shoulders and longer arms and stronger ligaments. It's so unfair! Okay, I know this commenter wasn't asking in that tenor, but a lot of times anti-trans rhetoric does. So there's two ways that I respond to this argument. The first is that actually biological diversity, such as broader shoulders or longer limbs, appears everywhere in every single category. And it's only really when it's in the women's category that people have a freak out about it. If those biological differences or actual advantages exist in the men's category, people praise them. Amazing, Michael Phelps has really long arms. Amazing, he's got double the lung capacity. Amazing, he produces half the levels of lactic acid than the average athlete. People praise it in the men's category. But when those differences appear in the women's category, especially if they are held by women who are marginalized, such as black and brown women or trans women or black trans women, then suddenly it is considered unfair and grounds for disqualification. But the reality is that, again, biological diversity exists everywhere. And number two, and this is really, really key to recognize, those biological differences do not always constitute advantages. People always wanna get stuck on biological advantages. First, there's so many other kinds of advantages in the world, like coaching, like physical therapy, like socioeconomic access, we could go on. But those biological differences don't always equal an advantage. And I'll tell you something about trans women specifically. So if a trans woman has gone through testosterone driven puberty, then yes, on average, on average, the trans women have larger frames, okay? But when you go under testosterone suppression, what you also have, you have smaller muscle masses. Think about it this way. If you've got a big car with a small engine, that's actually not an advantage. That is a disadvantage. What we really have to do is differentiate between something that's different, something that's an advantage, something that is unfair, and then lastly, most importantly, what is actually grounds for disqualification? Because there are things that are biologically different that are not advantages. There are things that are advantages that are not unfair. There are advantages that are unfair, again, such as socioeconomic access. And then there are things that are unfair that are grounds for disqualification. But these four things are not the same. Anti-trans rhetoric will use whatever semblance of supposed science it can, supposed biology, to trick you into thinking that the exclusion of trans women is what is right. But the reality is that actually when you dig into the science, it all supports the inclusion of trans people. Again, science supports trans people. You should too.